This is the room we get shit done in. This is the room we were most excited for when we first moved into this place. This is the room we spend 90% of our time in. And that room is our, our office. office. run our own business from home, specifically a video production and marketing company, having a functional, comfortable, and cool office was really important to us. And we were super excited to show you guys, that's why we tried to finish this room first. It's about 99% there, but we still want to show you anyways. So let's roll that footage from another day when the lighting was a little bit better in here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any. Oh. I'm just kidding, you can come in. So this is our office. It is just under 100 square feet, and it's kind of an odd shape. It's not a square, it's not a rectangle, so it was a little interesting to plan out where things were gonna go. So Chris's and my desk is back to back because we both wanted to be beside the window, which is probably the best part of this entire room. So it's a floor to almost ceiling window. It actually has a sliding door that goes outside, and it overlooks Lake Ontario. So every day we are lucky enough to look at the water, which is super peaceful when you're having a rough day with your clients. You know what I'm talking about. And then, when the window light is a little bit too harsh, we will use our remote control for our electronic blinds. Humble brag, we have Hunter Douglas electronic blinds. They're pretty much our favorite things. So we literally just press close, and they close and diffuse the light beautifully. Also, if we're shooting videos in here during the day, it adds a really nice soft light to your face. Show me, show me, show me the soft light on your face. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You wanna go over go, here? Right over okay, here. Okay, okay. This Ooh. is this is the soft light on my face. Is it soft? It's real soft. It's soft. Oh no. Let's put they them back up. The garbage can. I gotta put them back up. <laughs> Three, two, one. And the blinds are open. So here's the way the office tour is gonna go. First come inside. You have to come. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door. We're gonna go around the room. First of all, over here we have two roller things that hold backdrops. I don't know what they're called, but they're great. We installed them this past weekend and I'm very excited about it because it was one of the first things I planned to put in this room when we got in here. I was like, hey, that space between those bulkheads. It's a great space for some backdrops. So anyways, that brings us down a little lower to the closet. So because we live in a two bedroom condo in Toronto, we're a little limited when it comes to storage and although we try our best to Marie Kondo the crap out of our lives, this is one of the main storage areas, so it's very full. Let's take a look. I'm scared to show you this a little bit. It's not that scary. Um. So, the scary part is that most of our gear is downstairs. Basically takes up our entire storage locker that came with this unit, but everything we use for our YouTube videos or everything we use the most is pretty much in this side of the closet. Up there, we got some toilet paper and we have two bins that are full of games because we love board games. Real quick, printer, Chris Howe's bag. Uh, bunch of audio stuff, a light, two extra backpacks, monitor case, Lizzie's backpack, lens case, audio kit, two crane things, a bunch of tripods. It's a little messy, we really wanna work on this, but uh... I hate it when it's open, it stresses me out. <laughs> so let's go to the other side. This is more of where we keep a lot of the extra home items we need, like sheets, and paper towel and tissues and stuff like that and some of these extra backdrops. Fun fact about this room, it actually becomes our guest bedroom when we have friends sleeping over. So right here we put out a very comfortable blow up mattress, fill it up with pillows and sheets and a duvet and it becomes a guest bedroom. It's perfect. <laughs> We've been told it's actually quite comfortable. We're not those people who just say it's a comfortable air mattress just to be nice when guests come over because we've actually tested it and slept on it for like two months before our bed came. So can confirm it is a comfortable air mattress. I don't know why, maybe one of you will sleep over. I'm really trying to sell this air mattress. Let's just keep, let's move on. One of my favorite parts of this room is this poster. So this came with me from my last apartment and it's actually a gift from Chris. So it is a poster from the movie Almost Famous. It's my favorite movie of all time. And then I had it plaqued at Costco. Love Costco. And it's actually positioned right when you walk into this room, you see this poster. Just next to that, we have this really cool clock that we got on Etsy. So everything that I'm going to mention in this video, except this poster, because I don't know where the heck you find that, is going to be linked in the description box below. 
and that's where you can find all this stuff. So if I don't mention that it's down there, just know it's, it's down there. Just below this clock, we have our slightly broken neon sign. So funny story, neon sign came first. When we were hanging the clock, we broke the neon sign. So on its better days, it should say, eat, sleep, shoot, repeat. And when our new one comes, it will say that. But we'll show you what it looks like on if you want. It's a really unpleasant sound. Let's, let's turn it off. Okay. It started making that sound when it broke. The number one thing you guys have been asking for the past few months is where our desks are from. And actually, most of the stuff in this office is from the same company, it's from Fully. So when the guys at Fully heard that we were moving into a new place together and we needed all kinds of stuff for our office, they were gracious enough to hook us up. So here's all the stuff that's from Fully. Our desks, both of these chairs, this filing cabinet down here, which doubles as a seat, which is super cool, and this stool for guests when they come over, and these two pads that you can stand on when this desk becomes a standing desk. I will demonstrate. Oh, show it, show it, show it. Okay, this is the best ready? part. Ooh. Da -da -da. It goes up, and just like how it went up, it also goes down. And it's so much better than those crank ones, you know, because like that's so much effort and like I already have to stand. For more information about this desk and also what is on our desks, that is a lot to go through for this video. So Chris is actually gonna take over and tell you guys about all the gear and the little things that we've bought to make our desks super awesome. And honestly, I think on both of ours, we have the exact same stuff because I really want things to be matching. So go check out that video for all of that info and a lot more about this desk because there's some super cool features that you really need to know about. Those are linked. The most recent addition to this room is the three photos I hung above my desk. And if you wanna know how I got these framed and why I decided to print them and all that info, I actually made a video about it last week or two weeks ago. Now I can't remember. So go check that out. It'll be linked in the cards up here and in the description box below. Next is my shelf. So this is actually an Ikea hack. So this shelf looks way better than something that would actually be from Ikea. So I'm super proud of it actually. So many of you guys DM'd me and asked me where I got it. And I think it was like 60 bucks and originally Chris was very skeptical that this was even going to fit here or be able to work. Um, when she says uh, skeptical, a uh, little skeptical, I was very skeptical. Uh, as she mentioned beforehand, uh, there are no real like right angles in this room. So it's kind of just like sitting on top of the crown molding on the bottom, like it's just on it. And then it's drilled into the concrete wall and there's like little gaps and spaces, but it's hidden and it works and it covers it up and it really turned out great. Um, Genuinely surprised and I was kind of jealous and wanted my own. So for 60 bucks, you too could have your own shelf to hang a drone on. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the whole room because I can put my gear on it and just be really proud of the gear that I've invested in. Also, it makes it super easy to find when I'm looking for it. And there's one more Ikea hack in this room that I forgot to mention. Come over here, come down a little bit. This little cabinet actually holds a lot of our daily things we need, like batteries and cables and things. And again, it was super inexpensive from Ikea. And you gotta love Ikea for some of those basic items. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving on to Chris's desk. He has some really unique artwork up here that in his video, he's gonna talk a lot more about. For now, I'll tell you that it was actually made by the artist Nick Ivey, and he incorporated so many elements of Chris's life into it and so many things that are really meaningful and personal to him. I'm actually involved. You're meaningful to me. We should find out how you are in this. Well, just allow me to show you. If you lower this a little bit, you can see my name right there. Lizzie, because and you are meaningful to me. You're meaningful to me too. Stop gripping me so hard. Oh my God, let go, let go of me. For all of the other little hidden things that are in this art piece, just go head over to Chris's video to have those revealed to you, I guess. Now let's back it up, back it up, and then look down. Our carpet. So it's actually a super fun carpet. Originally when Chris and I were trying to design this room, we wanted it to feel like a recording studio. And I feel like in recording studios, there's a very specific type of rug they have. It's like red and black. And so that's kind of what we were looking for. But then when we went on this one particular rug website, we found this one and we're like, it's so fun and colorful. And because this room really has no rhyme or reason to it anymore. And like, it's kind of just a mishmash of things. We loved how much color it had and it's super creative and fun and we just wanted a room that was fun and inspiring. Come closer, 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 down here. Last but not least, in every YouTube video, there has to be a one wheel. 
Excellent. One wheel, which we can't really even ride in here. There's not enough space. Maybe we should try though. What, are you gonna? Hey, whoa! Oh my God. Whoa. We did it! So you can ride it in here. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly a challenge. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, jump off. Yay! All right, so that's our office, and I don't know what else I should do. Maybe I'll just go make another YouTube video? Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Okay, bye. So that's our office tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as I mentioned, don't forget to go and check out Chris's video about everything that is on our desks. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the bell to get notified. Ding! Ding! I hit the bell. Ding! When I hit it twice, actually. <laughs> when uh, I post a new video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. We get, I just spit all over here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure your boobs aren't out and your tummy's not out is a complicated game. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs>